Well, the high pressure they gave us such a great weekend. Very dry air pumping it out of Canada. Remember earlier in the week we had the frost issues before the weekend and just gorgeous weather. Some comfortable nights and warm days. This is going to drift a little further to the east so that opens the flow up now to bring moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. That's just adding humidity to the air but we still don't have a lot and the atmosphere to kick it off to wring out that moisture. We had the low pressure sitting just south of us through the weekend and giving heavy rains just south of us. All we saw were high clouds. Now this high will do the same thing, trying to get moisture here, but not a lot to wring it out. We're in the mid 80s to upper 80s across mid Michigan on our Memorial Day with winds on the relatively light side. The high temperature so far is 88 in Mason. You see 85 in Lansing, well above the normal, which is about 74, 75. A little cooler near the lake shores. The lake temperatures are warming nicely, but still, that was a cool place to be if this was too much warmth for you. And you see how widespread it is. When you look further south in the Ohio River Valley towards the Carolinas, that's where that upper level low has been for days. We talked about it last week. We'd see clouds from it, but we couldn't get any rain. It was helpful in washing out the Indianapolis 500 but didn't get it any further for us. Now the satellite and radar shows just nothing in the cloud department. We're still under some really, really dry air, but look to the west, increasing humidity there and a couple of isolated showers popping up in the daytime heating. We're hoping sometime this week we could see a few of those. The best likelihood is going to be on the west side of the state, the way this high sits. And that would be because of lake breezes in the afternoon, but we're still talking about isolated showers. The low pressure sits down there in North Carolina. That will finally head back out of the Atlantic Ocean after they had a very wet weekend. That high doesn't move much, so we're still kind of under the influence of it being dry. But with the increasing humidity gradually day to day, we might be able to kick off a shower. So here's your hour by hour. And tonight it's clear, still comfortable, headed back down in the mid to upper 50s. For tomorrow, look how those showers pop up but they're mainly to our west or northwest and that's because it's interacting with the cooler lake breeze so they're going to be very isolated we'll be lucky in mid michigan to see anything at all same thing going into wednesday we still have the same high pressure pumping up that warm muggy air but just dry enough with no real fronts nearby to kick off anything widespread it's just all very isolated as the high drifts a little further east we might add a little more in the way of shower activity going into parts of our Thursday or over the weekend, but it's all an iffy kind of situation all week long with warm conditions, a little muggier, and the chance of rain goes up just a touch, and you can see it in the seven day, not much of a chance there. Wednesday, maybe a little bit on Saturday, and then Monday might have a shower or a storm. All those temperatures you see well above normal and a lot closer to record highs than it is to the normal highs of this time of year.